In Creo Parametric 11.0, there are some neat enhancements to the enclosure volume feature, and these enhancements even increased the use cases for the feature. Enclosed volumes were added a few versions ago to support computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, in Creo Simulation Live. To explain the enhancements, it would help to take a look at how it worked in previous versions. Right now, I am in Creo Parametric 10.0, here I have an assembly in which I've already created an enclosure volume. Let me select that and hide it. To create a new enclosure volume, you would go to the cut and surface overflow menu in an assembly. And then here we have surface and enclosure volume. And so here you can see a preview of the volume that would be created. And if you take a look at the dashboard, here we have our orientation the reference coordinate system. And by default, it's going to be just as big as the size of the model that you are trying to enclose. And you can add some additional offsets if you want. So again, that's how it worked in Creo Parametric 10 and earlier. Let me hit the check mark and the enclosure volume is created. Now let's take a look at how it works in Creo Parametric 11.0. Okay, here I am in Creo Parametric 11.0 with the same model that already has an enclosure volume. Let me hide it to create a, another one. It is the same command. You go to the cut and surface overflow menu in assembly mode and then surface enclosure volume. And we see our preview like before, but there are a bunch of differences. The method that you used in Creo 10 and earlier well, that is now the aligned orientation. And here we have our reference coordinate system. If we go to the options tab, you could either have uniform offsets from the minimum bounding box, or you could choose non-uniform. And this is like before where you could change the values for plus and minus X, Y, and Z. And like before, you have your rotational offsets that you could specify. But let's go to our optimized option. So this is a new option that's available in Creo Parametric 11.0 where it can find the minimum volume or minimal volume necessary. Let me click on that. And so now it's doing some computation. And so it changes the orientation of the model within the bounding box in order to have that minimum volume. Let me go to the References tab. Another option that you have is to exclude certain objects from the calculation. So for example, let's say that I wanted to get rid of those rotors for my particular analysis. Let me see, let me try to figure out where that is. It's somewhere in here. Let me drill down and find the components that I want to hide. Okay, so for example, let me grab this one to exclude. And you can see that the volume collapses down. I will hold down the control key and grab the other one. And it looks like we were at the minimum volume before by excluding those. So you do have the ability to exclude certain objects. You'll also notice that we have options to exclude quilts and exclu exclude construction bodies. Let me go to the options tab over here. So yeah, you have the linear offsets, uniform or non-uniform. So that's how you can use it in assembly mode. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete this particular feature. I do wanna show you another of the enhancements that applies to part mode and how that introduces a new neat use case. Let me go to another window from this part that I already have open. And so we have this one part model. Let's do the same thing. Let me go to the surfaces drop down menu or overflow menu in part mode. Here we have the enclosure volume command and it is using the aligned option based on the coordinate system. So one of the new things that you have from the options tab, you have regeneration options where you could update optimization and dimensions. So if your geometry ever changes, then the bounding box, then this enclosure volume is automatically going to update. You also have the ability to 
freeze optimization and dimensions. Let me go back to the references tab for a moment. You do also have excluded objects if you want to, you know, the thing is this is just for components in an assembly, but who knows, maybe it's even for bodies, but you have the ability to exclude quilts and exclude construction bodies. But let's take a look at that optimized option in part mode. When I click on that, well, it ends up reorienting the bounding box around the part. And the great new use case for this is optimizing your packaging. Companies are always looking for ways in which they can save money and a lot of costs go into shipping. Hey, you could use this feature to optimize the design of the packaging for your components. So there you have it. Those are the enhancements to the enclosure volume feature in Creo Parametric 11.0.